And I am Todd Carley. Police say Sarah Delgado was attacked by her live-in boyfriend who was a state corrections officer. And 23 ABC's Chris Arnellis spoke to Delgado today. He is live in our newsroom tonight with her story. Chris? Well, Sarah Delgado says she and the suspect, Alfred Hernandez, had only been together for a few months, and she had never seen a violent side to him before. Bakersfield police say it happened early Monday morning at this home near Olive Drive and Old Farm Road. They say state corrections officer Alfred Hernandez assaulted his live-in girlfriend, Sarah Delgado, after he had been drinking. Delgado says Hernandez woke her up at 3 a.m., wanting to have sex. He came in at three, I was in bed, he woke me up and there was an argument. When Delgado refused, she says Hernandez immediately turned violent. So she ran from the bedroom with her cell phone and dialed 911 as she tried to get away. At that point, he got a hold of me. I threw my cell phone right in that laundry basket so he couldn't get it. I tried to prolong the call so 911 can help me. Delgado says she could only hope help would arrive before Hernandez carried out his threats to kill her. At this point, we were struggling. He was choking me. I was screaming. I was yelling, kicking the washer dryer. Delgado says he drug her back into the bedroom in an effort to keep her from waking up his three sons. Don't scream. Um, shut up. I'm going to kill you. He said, I'm going to kill you. You better be quiet. The kids will listen. The kids will hear you. Delgado showed us the bruises from the attack. She says at one point, Hernandez choked her until she passed out. I got a bruise on my mouth right here. He covered my mouth like this, went like this, at the same time trying to hold me. I thought I was going to die at that point. I really thought my life was over. During the attack, Delgado says Hernandez's 16-year-old son woke up and let police in. Then... All of a sudden, there was three police officers right there. Police arrested Hernandez and booked him on multiple felonies, including kidnapping. This had never happened. Um, just controlling. He was very controlling, control issues. I'm going to drive you to this place. Don't go anywhere without me. Delgado says she wanted to tell her story as a warning to other women. Recognize the signs and get away. Now, Hernandez declined our request for a jailhouse interview. He is set for his first court appearance tomorrow. State Corrections says Cochrane State Prison has requested Hernandez be put on paid administrative leave while they investigate. If he is convicted of a felony, Hernandez will lose his job as a corrections officer. In the newsroom, Chris Ornelas, 23 ABC.